Welcome to Moonbase 2. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Moonbase 2 podcast. My name's Andy, corporate commander at TFW, and I'm joined this week by my little pog champ himself. It's Mikey G. Wolf V3. Hello, Mikey. I'm not... I don't want to come here. Why? I know what awaits. What awaits? Nothing good. Oh. Don't you want to be super lit? No, I, I would like to be a super lit elite boomer uh, based pirate. Yes, exactly. That sounds great. Sounds amazing. Overseas sexy guys. <laughs> <laughs> Overseas sexy guys. Yep. Good old Marine. She is the best pirate lady. Yes, I enjoyed watching her meme contest this week. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. I especially liked the winner. <laughs> the Yago Dream one. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh. I like I like how some people are like, no, Yago is actually quite happy. It's like that's not the point. That's not the yeah, meme. Yeah, we're not trying to make him feel better. The meme is no. not that Yago's a de- like pretty cool with it all. Like, no, the the meme is Yago's dying inside. Exactly. Not because we want him to die inside, but because it's funny that that yeah. would be the case. Like he, Coco did a meme thing with Sora. Um, yeah, I saw that one too the, today. Yeah, so I saw some clips for it anyway, and I was just like, everyone's going like, oh, poor Yago. Just like, no, that's not that's not the joke. The joke is that this was his last shot. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, no. The joke was that this year, 2021, would be the year of say so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the shit posting starts off, and it's like, oh, no. Oh, here we go again, baby. Save me. No, say so this year once more for Yago san. I ended up watching the Yanner song say so during the week. Uh, have, you, have you not seen that before? Uh, no, I hadn't. Oh, what did you think? Do you like it? That was very clever lyrics. It was. It was. And it's very... It encapsulates her character quite nicely, I think. Yes, yes. It does kind of communicate what the hell. Yes. If you ever want to know who Nyanas is, just search for her say-so song. Mm. You go, oh. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, no. Uh, But Mikey, we're not here to talk about VTubers today, which is kind of a lie, because that's almost what we do every week now at this point, since 2020. I have nothing else to do, because I'm on lockdown. And I have to mind my family, so and I don't have a lot of energy to delve into other shit. Welcome to my life, Mikey. Yeah. Even outside <laughs> of COVID. Uh, but this week, we have Transformers news to talk about. Uh, we're not talking about the Wolf Cybertron Earthrise series, uh, thankfully. Thankfully. Because <laughs> uh, we got that out the way with last week. Uh, so we're going to be kicking off with... <laughs> well, two We didn't get feedback on that. News. We didn't get feedback on oh, that. Oh, um, did we? Do yeah, we want to save twi- that for the end, or do you want to throw it's, it now? It's on Twitter, so we can throw it in, but I think it's basically... I, I, I was chatting to them on Twitter about it, and it's nothing significant, but I do just want to say thank you for the feedback. I really, really appreciate getting a bit a bit back off people. Like it, they, it's they one say of those... they hated us and wanted us to die in a fire. Uh, specifically, yes. Yes, they did. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that so. we must burn, and you must mm-hmm. go first. That's fine. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check to see if it's warm enough. <laughs> Touch the fire, Andy. You did. The fire was ah. hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah i do it again ah i burn myself <laughs> if it is hot i must touch damn yep. loomy so what what was the feedback um we were probably being a little unfair to earth rise with comparisons to cyberverse broadly speaking i I don't have it up on the screen right now i know it oh. yeah. That do, you, do you remember what you mean? What, what they meant specifically me by specifically, comparing it to Cyberverse? I was letting my affection for Cyberverse color my criticism of Earthrise since, you know, we constantly compared it to the... We made a lot of comparisons between the two. Oh, that must have been you because I haven't seen yeah, you're much not of Cyberverse. Enough. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just thought You Earthrise haven't seen how crazy Cyberverse gets. That's true. Uh, but they Apparently they kept that all to season three. Uh, but man, <laughs> Earthrise not good. That had a lot of issues, <laughs> and I don't think we—I don't think we were desperately unfair to uh, point out each of the issues because no. I don't think anyone could like. Well, maybe maybe they could, but I don't think there would be a narrative reason to explain any of the issues that we had with it, apart I, from it was bad planning I, or badly just, storied. Since this has suddenly turned into this, like very interesting thing I found during the week because I started looking for reviews. Almost yep. no professional reviews on this show. 
to the point Still. where it doesn't have a Rotten Tomato score. Because you said that last week when we recorded and, the show as well. Yeah, but like it's been a week. I did see Jeremy Johns, uh, mm. famous YouTuber Jeremy Do- Johns, did a, a video on it, and uh, he was, he was usually love. fairly positive on mm. things. He was quite positive on on the first season as mm. well, which again I don't think was very good. And even he was like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, so, ah, yeah. But I like, and I was looking at user feedback as well, and on on both Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes, it's it's uh, averaging around fifty sixty. Is that is that good? No, like out of a hundred. Oh. So no, that's bad. <laughs> I don't think this should like, I, and also like the dialogue has completely died on it. One week after. Oh, you mean people just talking about it in general? Yeah, yeah I suppose. Yeah. Um, like I, mean, I don't that's think a, that's an issue made... with just the binge shows in yeah. general, though, isn't oh, yeah, it? Yeah. To be fair. Um, but I don't think the show would be better if it was on every week. But I think no, I th- for its own <laughs> longevity, it would have benefited from being weekly. I might have had to have tapped out if it was weekly, because <laughs> I, I mean, in the in the show, I talked about how how difficult it was to get through j- the four episodes to then have mm. kind of a not great episode, but at least something happened. Uh, but man, if if you put a week between each of those episodes, that would that would have been the struggle, man. Well, you you just <laughs> do what been... you always do, which is wait until something's over and then watch it all at once. Yeah, I would have just been, I would have just <laughs> did it anyway. Would have been because I would have left it to the very last moment to do it. Because mm. yeah, that's how it, how it happens sometimes. Uh, was was that all the feedback, or was there was there anything that else there a, to cover? Yeah, that was about it, really. Like, all uh, right, still, it's like, good to get feedback. Yeah, I yeah, like always hear appreciate it. something. Always appreciate something. Yeah, um, definitely. Stop. <laughs> all right, well, we'll kick off with crappy news this week because I know. Uh, well, I mean, Mikey was just talking about it, and this is a very relevant TV show that is currently got more seasons to come. Of course, this is the new Why McDonald's you Happy me? Meal toys for the Transformers Cyberverse. I don't hate you. I just hate the planning of companies. <laughs> why? Why now? Cyberverse is done. Apart from uh, a, May- a movie, mo- May- a movie maybe. Maybe, yeah, a movie maybe. maybe. So. so once again, this is kind of a little late, shall we say? Yeah, uh, a little late. Yeah, these don't look good either. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, for those interested, these are new toys from McDonald's. So you know, take what you can you get. Much more, I'm told. Uh, you get four trans. Uh, there are four Transformers Bumblebee adventure characters. Uh, each figure is uh, in a in one piece. Oh, uh, they have a lenticular piece in them. That's in their chest, uh, and will change obviously depending how you hold it. So it'll change the little picture inside the boob. Uh, hmm. They'll be available from the seventh to the tenth of the tenth uh, of February, I should say, uh, in Singapore. So far, uh, sorry, these are the dates in Singapore. I, I guess it means they might come to. Other places outside of Singapore, but it, it doesn't say. So Bumblebee is from the 7th to the 13th. So if you want Bumblebee, you got, uh, well, by the time the show goes out, two days. You got two days left. Megatron's from the 14th of January to the 20th of January. Starscream's 21st to the 27th. And Optimus is the 4th to the 10th. Hmm. Uh, these do not move. These are one piece. I don't really know what the lenticular images, how they will change exactly. Uh, because it just looks like the normal chest, maybe a battle damage chest or something. Looks like it but might whenever... come out. Maybe I guess. Because there's, uh, but a, whenever... there's a gap or something in there, so maybe that's to spin it round or something. Mm. I don't know. But I remember uh, when Transformers had their crossover back in my day, and they had mm. transforming uh, McDonald's Happy Meal toys. Like oh. it was like a like a, a packet of uh, or a, a what is it? A pack of fries? Is that what you call it? A pack? I don't know. Whatever the little boxes and that the fries come meal. in, it was a happy uh, meal. Yeah, uh, there was a there was a happy meal box turned into a T Rex thing. There was a a burger, a, a styrofoam burger box that turned into a weird snapping turtle. Uh, there was a um, uh, a soda box, soda box, soda cup that turned into another kind of weird um, dinosaur. Some description, you know. There was there was some. Uh, like creativity, and there was apparently ones before them as well, which I wasn't around for. Mm. Uh, and do you know what they did, Mikey? What did they do, Andy? They transformed. <laughs> That's a lie. It's not though. They actually did. These don't. That These don't do anything. Well, they they have the lenticular chest thing, which is very very cheap, if you ask me. <laughs> but. Yeah, I can't say that these are desperately. I mean, I I guess this is what McDonald's toys have come to now. Uh, maybe to match the quality of the food, unless they sponsor us, then McDonald's meals are the best. But they're not sponsoring us at the moment, <laughs> so they are. I'm just, I'm just saying, we'll, we'll get your numbers up, McDonald's, if you sponsor us. McDonald's, yeah. you will get much more. 
Yeah, exactly. <laughs> da, 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 da. Please give us money. <laughs> uh, do you have any thoughts on the Mikey apart from being kind of um, crappy little toys without much uh, oomph to them? I mean, they're pretty heavily into the kind of crappy little toys department. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, because um, I suppose is Kinder Egg still going on, or is yeah, that yeah, gone Kinder's, now? Kinder's flying it. Kinder's never oh, okay. going away. That's what I thought. I, I know they know. don't sell them in America, though, do they? Because no, people they're... started eating them <laughs> because they're dangerous, apparently. Well, didn't, in... like, some American kids die because they uh, vored the little toy capsule for some reason? Oh, we all did that. Just like... I, the, the... I never vored we the capsule. We all did that. We all... Because it no. was squishy, so you put it in your mouth and you went squish, squish. No, I didn't do that. Yes, you did. <laughs> or, like, you'd suck in it so it, like, suctioned onto your tongue or lips or something like that. Every child I knew did that. I'm I not I don't the think I here. ever did that. Well, you were never a child. To, to be fair, though, I didn't actually get that many Kinder Eggs because I didn't think they were very good. Uh, my mum would usually go, what would you prefer, a Kinder Egg or a monster in my pocket? And I went, monster in my pocket. Fuck yeah. No, I was always um, I was always Kinder because I liked the chocolate a lot. That's fair. But I there preferred was never the toy more so. <laughs> yeah, they all... Did you always find that... Uh, do, do you remember that they had like... It wasn't... It was, it wasn't a kin... It was like a Kinder bar of chocolate. Yeah, there, that's still a thing. Yeah, but they were never as good as the eggs. At least I never thought they were as good as the eggs. Even though always I only small. had them a few times. They're always small. Hmm. It's disappointing. Kinder, they're <laughs> expensive. Mm. Uh, and when it when it wasn't Monster in My Pocket, I was getting it was um, the small Boglin uh, ones that you could get at the time as well. Blind Not bag Boglins. ones. Yeah, Boglins, baby. Boglins. Uh, so, McDonald's. Still making poop toys, debatably. Or not debatably, I suppose. Uh, this is crappy news because two events have been cancelled, Mr. Mikey. Both Wonderfest 2021, the, mm. the winter convention, as well as New York Toy Fair uh, 2021. Excuse me, have both been cancelled. Uh, obviously, to because, you know, people are diseased and sneezing on each other and turning into zombies, as is the way of uh, this time in our lives. Mm. Um, so... There's a statement from Toy Fair, so I'll, I'll give that a quick little read, as I'm sure you'll find it as fascinating as I do. As COVID-19 uh, remains uh, sufficiently uh, insufficiently resolved, the Toy Association has announced that it will not be conducting an, in an interim trade show. Wow, what a what a business way to phrase this. Mm. Uh, in in New York for 2021, which was previously planned to take place a uh, take place May 1st to 4th. Or just, it doesn't even have the th at the end, so it's just May 1 to 4. Because they're not dates, I suppose. No. Good work, guys. Official statement, you can't add the th or the st. Terrible. Plans for da uh, the Toy Fair Dallas remains on course <laughs> for October 2021. Mm -hmm. uh, and providing an ongoing mix of physical and digital business opportunities for the industry will be the associ association's focus this year. Our foremost consideration is the health and well-being of the global toy and play community. I assume that means children? Uh, and setting a clear path forward. Well, no, it wouldn't, because Steve... they, would, they don't go to toy fairs. No, that's true. To kids aren't allowed to, allowed to uh, see only, the toys. Only adults with badges that, that say press in it are allowed to go to toy fairs. <laughs> to be fair, we wouldn't be stingy if we could go to them. Uh, I'd be stingy anyway, but I'd still, you know, go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like because I want free stuff basically, and I know some like there are like welcome packages. Are there? Stuff. Oh man, yeah, I wouldn't so say no to I that. I would like free stuff. The problem is we might say the wrong things while there. You don't say anything. You just take pictures and say the wrong thing after. Like like we would be there and like we'd see the kingdom stuff and we'd say, well, where's Inferno? Why is this stupid fire engine here? And why are <laughs> John, there G1 John things Warden's, ruining this perfect wave? John Warden's last toy fair is the two of us having this like. <laughs> so I've noticed you've mixed Optimus Prime in here. Yes. Again. But Primal's here. And there's RC back. And and this What's is not happening? an ant. Is this an ant? Does this look like an ant to you? <laughs> exactly. Terrible. <laughs> we won't let it go until we get our our demands met. Has I will broken. never let it go. I like uh, unless they like like turn around and say like we're doing transmetal scavenger. I will never let it go. Oh, that'd be kind of cool as well, actually. Because he was meant to be Inferno, so he was. Yeah, that's true. I'm kind of glad they didn't go that way because his design, like the head design, was really weird for him. Yeah. Oh yeah. At least in there. the toy. But it would kind of. I think it could have worked on screen. 
Ca- maybe I think they might need to tweak it a little bit. I, I, mm. There's something about just the smile because it was like a, a really Joker esque smile. Yeah, he had the big. It's almost too big. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, we want to provide our exhibitors, retail buyers, and large toy and play community with uh, certainty on important uh, blah blah blah. No one wants to get diseased. So yeah, yeah that, that it's hey we COVID still thing. We don't want people to be diseased. Winterfest was originally announced for the 7th of February, but, yo, cases in Japan, they're still about. Uh, so the thing's over. Japanese government only allow 5,000 attendants now, and Winterfest was expecting 6,500. So, mm. you know, people, uh, 6,500 people, only uh, exhibitors. Yeah. Uh, I... So, yeah, unfortunately, two co- two cons are toy cons where I think probably things that we would have liked to have seen yes. uh, have been cancelled. Honestly, I would be more into Wonderfest, but... I don't know, because I think the Toy Fest uh, or the Toy Fair one would at least show more Kingdom stuff. Yeah, but I'll find that out anyway, kind of thing. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> like, in terms of what because... was, would have been there, I'd be more excited about what would come out at Wonderfest. Yeah, I suppose it's because um, it's a little bit... I, I, because we're not Japanese, it's a little bit harder for us to find out about what's coming up. Because mm, uh, mm. usually the, the toy drippers are, us- well, you know, the native Japanese speakers. Yeah, have so. you ever tried going through, like, a post-Wonderfest thread trying to find, like, the words you're looking for for key key phrases so you know, okay, this is to do with something I care about. I've I've also <laughs> never found a good, like, Wonderfest um, like, gallery or, like, no, a place. No, they're God. never good. No, they're really not. They're always really, like, text-dense and without very many photos. Mm. So, uh, yeah, I, I personally, I've never seen any good ones. If there are good ones, uh, let us know, because it would make things easier for us, and then we could see if there were things we liked. Mm. Usually, I kind of have to rely on Twitter, and the few uh, Japanese accounts that I follow uh, that usually just are primarily just put, putting up pictures of stuff. Yeah. I can kind of rely on them to a point because they're not going to cover everything, of course. Uh, any any thoughts there, Mikey? I mean, uh, it's bad news all around, obviously. Yeah, but, yeah. listen. It, things, it, it's been an interesting start to 2021 in regard to all this shit. Yeah, so, we're 10 days in. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going well. But... Um, if the worst we come out of it is that some festivals are delayed, I think we're fine. Yeah, I, w- I would agree. I would agree. Um, I would also say maybe not a good idea for anyone to be booking. You know, do what you like, but maybe don't book any holidays. Yeah, no holidays, no conventions. Just yeah. chill out for a while, just, guys. Write a book. Yeah, just, just don't bother because there's, there's no guarantee anything's going to get hmm. sorted anytime soon. I was thinking it, it was weird, like uh, last year when people still held on to the plans. Because if I had any, I would have just been like, okay, done. Nope. Get your nope. get your money back as soon as you can. Yeah, exactly. That would have been my my plan. But I can, you know, I get why people didn't. People wanted to have their happy time and uh, wanted to have something to look forward to. Mm. And then 2020 finished. <laughs> <laughs> and there was none of that. Mikey, I'm going to let yes. you take us away with some good news. Two bits of yes. good news. Yes, Flame Toys. Flame Toys. They have revealed uh, sketches for the next Kurokara Curry figure, which is, of course, their big expensive They Hate Me line. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, Starscream. So uh, following up from the IDW Megatron. Uh, I don't know if this will be the, the next figure specifically, but the next new design is going to be IDW Starscream. And I will say it's IDW because it's essentially the Power of the Prime figures given better proportions, which was used as the base for the IDW character. Yeah, it, it felt like it had some um, Milne bits mixed in mm. here, I, yeah. I think, especially with the, the red bits behind his head. Yeah, definitely, definitely. But um, like, it's got the same leg design as Power of the Primes, but it's slimmed down a lot. Mm. Um, similar chest. Like, the chest was something I was staring at that going, like, that looks very familiar. Like, it's de- like it's definitely inspired by that aesthetic. Um, yeah. Very original take on the n- Null Rays, I must say. Uh, do you think they didn't like that? I, I don't know. Yeah, they, do you know what they... Do you know what they look like to me? They look like super soakers. <laughs> like the blue bit would be the, the water containers. Nerfed your Star Screamer. Huh? Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, and it's signed by the designer, but I can't read his signature. Um, Hayugo, I think it says. Um, but yeah, Andy, um, I can't say Star Scream's the one I'm most excited for from this. Are you saying there might be some repaints done from I this mean, guy? Possibly, like 15. Oh my god. 
But also, like, this design for Kirk Arkery is remarkably conservative. Yeah, it's not nearly as crazy as what you... Uh, I mean, what we've come to almost mm. expect from them, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, and I, even if even with designs that haven't varied a lot from the source material, like Tarn and Megatron, like, they've mm. got super robot proportions added in and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Tarn's teeny tiny legs. But, um... Starscream looks kind of just like an anime version of a Starscream we've seen before. Which is Are you like disappointed it, in that? I mean, yes and no. I always prefer a lot more stylization. That's not a secret. But I do think this is an interesting take on the design. Like, hmm. they have done him up a bit. And he's certainly not simply a larger, poseable G1 Starscream. He does look like he's going to be interesting. <laughs> That's true. Like, I'm curious to see what they'll come with, with accessories. Because, like, they, you know, they've included some interesting ones with every figure they've done, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say I'm I'm desperately excited because it's like it, you know, it's a Star Scream and mm. it'll be a Thundercracker and it'll be a Skywarp, which you know, it's a, totally understandable. It's it's what you do. What if it was uh, a Slipstream? I think the I don't think they'd do that. I think they'd heavily remold. Well, I mean, you could, I, if you could do read in the head and get away with it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's flame toys, so they'd probably like. We need to redo everything because this yeah. does not look the way we would do an anime female character. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, so yeah, I, I can't say that I'm, I'm like desperately. I'm sure it'll look okay, but I, I think mm. I'm just y- too used to the basic Star Scream design, and even like yeah. you say, even though they've changed bits, it's not crazy, really. Mm. Unfortunately. Um. Yeah. No, I'd agree with that. So the next bit of news is we have color samples and pre-order information. For Flame Toys Four Eye Model Kit Windblade, so this Woo! is the updated Windblade that uh, you know will be in the model kit size. So it's going to be about forty, fifty euros, fifty dollars. Um, so we get uh, some tree basic things showing her. This is the first time we've seen her new color scheme laid out properly on the on the figure. Um, mm. We also get a element of her posing. She looks very poseable. Uh, it looks like she's going to have like a drop down hit, uh, drop down hips. Be yeah, that can drop arm. down a long yeah. way. Yeah, so she's her. She's probably got like the hips are probably on a rod, like a figure out or something like that. Mm. Um, but possibly more extreme. Um, yeah. and like she looked really, really good. Um, the only real negative I have to say, I missed the Obi wings. Same. I Same. I really like those. Um, and like for the most part, she's kept that very, very Japanese anime aesthetic. So I would have liked if they were in there, but hey oh. I um, get why they they change them because this does make her look more wind bladey. Yeah, yeah. Like without them it's definitely not a traditional wind blade silhouette. Yeah. Um but I think this looks really, really good. Um This pre- might be my first kit from these guys if yeah. I, if uh, I remember to get her. They're very good kits. Um yeah. so yeah, pre orders are gonna come out in March. Um I've already like I've basically like semi committed to being as mole complete in this line as I can, <laughs> uh, which is the first time I've ever committed to that. So I've already got a pre order in for Rodimus, um, so I will be getting a pre order in for her in March. So she'll be around everywhere for a few weeks, certainly. Um, uh, yeah, like I, I really can't sing. I like I really like Flame Toys. I re- like haven't you know I've realized it's been a year or so since I started all this model nonsense. Oh wow, yeah, that's true. Um, and yeah, you know, I've tried a few different lines, and like Flame Toys and Gundam are the two best ones I've tried. Mm. And Flame did Toys, you, like you they did get try n- the Code of Bakia, didn't you? Oh, that yeah. was Zoids, wasn't it? The, Zo- the Zoids one was like a really fun, complicated build with some. Um, I you really should have some modeler glue when you're doing this. Hmm. Um, Motoroid was from Good Smile was a disappointment. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, like the design really the build was okay like i like that some parts came pre-painted but the overall feel of the build like it feels so light for the amount of money you're putting into it and mm. i don't think the build is complicated enough to say that money that time is that money's being converted into time you know yeah yeah um and like i've tried like I, i'm if all right now i'm interested in trying as many different lines as i can like there is a a Tecaman blade coming out from a, i don't remember what company's doing them um, so I'm going to be, I've got a, an order in for him. He's in, he's out in the next six months or something like that. Um, and like there's that grid man from Tron. I want to try at some point and mini plot obviously. From, from Tron? Is that Tron. the company name? Yep. They are, as far as I know, they are a new company. So. Okay. So it could, it could go either way. Yep. It's a bit of a risk. Gotta live, gotta live the life. 
<laughs> um, I, like it's really annoying me because like because model kits tend to be cheaper than a lot of the figures. I'm prioritizing them over figures. Mm, yeah, yeah. But it's also like God. I keep on looking at like wait for a, a Manda Rake Akane Figma at a not crazy price. And yeah, how's that going? Day, I there was one there. I didn't have the money that week. I came back a week later, and she was gone. How not crazy was it? Six thousand yen. That's that's not crazy. That's not crazy. Was it the deluxe one? It was the deluxe one. Oh wow, that isn't too crazy. Wow. No, so I'm just gonna keep an eye out and like, because Optimus is on the way at some point in the next couple of months. So ah, uh, nice. Mm, so we'll see. But um, anyway, um, really do recommend Flame Toys to people. So if you're interested in model kits, this could be an interesting one. And she's got more humanoid proportions than most of them. So you know she's clearly more poseable. Yeah. Like, they, like Flame Toys are really really poseable, but. They're, the the boxiness clashes. Sure, yeah, so makes she, sense. So she's, you know, they've got her in the Iron Man pose. At the, you could do that with, like, IDW Optimus, but you would be straining a little bit. Um, But yeah, so Flame Toys, awesome, awesome company. So glad it's doing as well as it is. Cool. Uh, continue making me amazing things. When is that Optimus Primal being announced as a model kit? It is kind of surprising in a way that Flame Toys is still going on. Mm. Not that it's a bad thing. I I, th- I thought it would be more of a flash in the pan. Like you get two or three kits and then boom. They'd either move on to something else or it would just like fail and flop. Yeah. Like and I'm also really surprised that like, boat lines are still continuing. And they're even getting to the stage where they're introducing like basically like a, a small scale version of the Kurokar Curries. Yeah. Like they're doing really well for themselves by the looks of it. Like they've got new licenses as well. Like they've got um, Batman. They've got the Arkham Knight. Oh, okay. So. The video game. Yeah. So they've wow. got an Arkham Knight figure coming on one of the lines. I don't know which one. I, but I'm kind of shocked that they're still doing anything for those Arkham game series. Because it's been a, a while since the last one. And the last one wasn't well received from what I remember. Yeah, but I don't think the Arkham Knight's a bad design. No. Just the games. <laughs> I, I never played the la- I haven't played any since the first one, if I'm honest. Because I, I liked it. But... I would never say I bought into the hype of it, and I never found Arkham Asylum, um, or Arkham City, rather, at a price I was happy with. I, I played the first one, liked that a lot, and then I played the second one, and it became too open-worldy for me to enjoy. Everything is open-world, Andy. Yeah, I know. I don't we like all it, live though. in an open world. Open, open world. world. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I liked uh, the the first one, just because it was on a contained island. Mm. Then it opened up too much. I was like, eh, it's not it's not for me. Not for me. Well, lots of other people like them, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Shall I take us on, Mikey? Yeah, it's the most exciting piece of news ever listed by man. Uh, yeah, so um, in the Masterpiece catalog uh, coming up, we find out through a little sketch uh, and a translated tweet, apparently, uh, that we're getting the Masterpiece skids. Yay! You right? Next up, Masterpiece Sea Spray. <laughs> there are, I'm sure there are people who are happy to get skids. I don't know who they are, but uh, I'll, I'll read the tweet. Masterpiece there Skids. There are no comments on this thread. <laughs> oh, oh my god, there don't seem to be. Uh, that can't be right. They must have been moved or something it, like It must that. have been. Yeah. It must have been. Uh, there are several new Masterpiece products scheduled to be released this year, one of which is Skids, uh, in quotations, with a distinct uh, deformation, transformation, I guess, and wide range of movement. Uh, it is a new work that will be a hybrid version of Masterpiece these days, ex- exclamation mark, meaning he will be uh, back kibbly and parts will break. <laughs> hey uh, there will be a... Pro- everyone will get really interested in him when they see him, and then there will be a prominent issue that they at least address in later waves but the damage will have been done in the first wave and no one will buy the later ones it that's how it always feels i mean this is mostly information coming from jobby the hong of course but i i have i've gone through loads of different things every single masterpiece for about three years has had one game breaking problem at least what was what was wrong with hound because i don't remember anybody Um, talking about Hound. there was something with his paint and there were some joints i remember there was a problem with his i think it was his arms ah okay fair um, enough and there was like a lot of breakage problems um ah. do you remember whereabouts uh broke on him uh no because i like everyone else i didn't care about hound okay fair enough <laughs> i'm not saying you're wrong i'm just like ah, yeah, yeah sounds about right 
Yeah, so Skids is coming. Um, woo. That's that's good for yeah. uh, people wanting to complete the first wave or early hey. wave two, I guess. Hey, hey, Andy. Hey, Mikey. How's that Galvatron doing? Who? Ga- Galvatron. Never heard of him. Uh, he's kind of like a big purple guy. Oh, he's season three. We don't we don't do season three characters. What about what about like I don't know a Decepticon? I don't know who they are. They they weren't really featured in season one. What about Reflector? Who? Like, tr- oh my god, True Building Masterpiece. It just hit me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of surprising they haven't done a Reflector, but uh, to, to be fair, most of the Decepticons have been done from Season 1, because there weren't many, as mm. the, uh, the joke always is. Uh, he, he's another Decepticon they, from Insecticons. Season 1 he wanted. There we go. Were they, no, yeah, they were Season Mas- 1, yeah. Masterpiece Insecticons. That'd be nice for uh, to see. Remember I mean, Raiden? Remember we were talking about Masterpiece Raiden before COVID? Yeah. Even yeah. that Armada Optimus, they've disappeared into ether, and everyone's hoping no one remembers. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm wondering if Japan's got them hidden away somewhere. <laughs> Maybe they'll just die. But yeah, uh, Masterpiece 2.0 Thundercracker is on the way, uh, I guess. He he is uh, Starscream. Uh, as usual, take the uh, take with a grain of salt until we get an official confirmation, apparently, because this was uh, surfacing over social media, uh, according to this um, Facebook page. Uh, sorry, this uh, TFW page. Uh, the image also includes some accessories uh, like interchangeable faces and blast effects. But Mikey, what don't it do? Don't have a small dog. Nope. And it Wait. never will. <laughs> nope. Need small dog. At least, though, if you do get it, it will be easier to find an in-scale small dog. That's true. That is true. So there is hope for you yet, even though I can't imagine <laughs> you buying a masterpiece than the cracker just for the buster. Uh, I've, to be honest, if I was, I'd rather get the leader from, like... The gener- if I was doing that route for a big star, a big thundercrack, get the leader from, um, oh god, what was it? Combiner Wars. Oh god, that one, yeah, yeah. That wasn't a terrible toy, and it, you know, it's it- still weird that they made the Star Scream that big though for that line. Yeah, and then they turned it into Jetfire, and then they did the the uh, right. SDC set, the SDCC set of the IDW thing where they came, where Jetfire came with all the uh, crossover characters. That's right. Yeah, yeah. When it made no sense to include Jetfire and would have made every bit of sense to include Thundercracker. <laughs> who? The the guy who was in the books, Andy. Don't uh, don't know him. Don't know him. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, th- th- I mean, maybe there'll be some extra accessories for this Thundercracker. If they are, they haven't been shown as of yet. I think these are just effects that were probably already with Starscream. Is my mm. assumption. Um. So. Anything you got to say on the masterpieces, Mikey? I can't imagine um, you do. There's not much to say. It's a skids. Like, I wouldn't have much to say in any skids, but... No, same. It's a skids. It's... I'll be honest. I've never... I had G1 skids for years, and I was very fond of him. And I was never a great design. I mean, he is very much a Diaclone toy, mm. to be fair. And he's, he's, he's exactly where he belonged. Yep. T- to be fair, Optimus Prime wasn't a very good design toy either. No, no, he was not. None of season one's cast were. Because <laughs> they were Dinobots based off were of very old toys. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. The Dinobots and the Insecticons were. They're, that's yeah, fair. It's almost like they came from slightly different designers. And from the exact same uh, line as well, weren't they? <laughs> it, it was the Insecticons versus the Dinobots in that whatever Diaclone line yep. was, right? Yep, they yeah. were, from what I understand, it was a different designer than normal, so it was just like, mm. cool. <laughs> yeah, those ones were good, actually. Hmm. Everything else was on uh, on a bit weird of a scale. Um, yep. Mikey, do you want to take us away with some possibilities for the future? So we have images of possible redecos that are on the way, which may be polls, they may be Netflix lines. We don't know. Um, but uh, these leaked, at least one of them I'd be somewhat dubious about because it just looks too detailed. Hmm. Uh, but again, if it's Pulse, maybe it would, you could get away with it. But um, the first up is uh, it's in Sparkless, which uh, appears to be a zombie or rust version. Uh, it's this is Barricade here, and I'm just thinking, like, Blue Street. Like, I mean, six and two threes, isn't yeah, it, really? But like, I would not go, like, Barricade as my first option. <laughs> I would go Blue Streak. Um, and with him is a purple clear pass plastic version of Paleotrex, which is the dinosaur limb guy, who has solid purple on, like, 
joints and things like that are Some, solid plastic sometimes. sometimes and the rest is is clear plastic um mm. i'd rather see his rex mode because he looks a bit of a mess there but um then yeah, someone for some reason took a picture of him on their kitchen counter mm. clearly um and then following up there we have a black version of siege ironhide which yes. presumably would be the guys from the earth rise that um the quintesson summoned yeah, that's what I assumed. And a, a, a repainted version of Kingdom Cheetor with more detail on the cheetah face. And more accuracy in terms of the colors, for yeah. the most part. Yeah, I like, would say if, so. if you look, the biceps and the hands are very slightly different yellow than the rest of the yellow. Hmm. But ve- not super noticeable. Yeah. But Again, a little un- bit. unflattering photo. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. one looks like it's on the floor of a garage or something. Yep. Um... So let's assume these are real. Okay. And let's assume these are uh, either Netflix or PulseCon exclusives. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and, like, I'm also going to assume for a laugh that the Paleotrex is the spoiler box. Um, oh, that'd be weird. <laughs> um, what do you think of these? Okay, so the Paleotrex dude, uh, people are, like guessing it's meant to be a reference to when um the decepticon uh, sorry the predacon ship scans the, the volcano area and pick up the dinosaurs uh in the in the surrounding area do why you agree be, with that why would he be purple because do you remember when the the scan goes over them it's oh, a purple oh yeah it's a purple shade to him uh, people threw up oh. like images on on twitter i think they might be overthinking it I don't know. I think that's like that sounds I mean, like me, a stupid thing that Hasbro would do. <laughs> I mean, like we're doing a translucent version of a character. Purple's a very common translucent color. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. Like, what color did they do rung in? Pinky purple, I believe. Did they? Yeah. Okay. I believe. So. I don't. I. I don't know. I. I think this stretch is not that much of a stretch, uh, especially for like, hey, uh, let's try and justify a repaint. How do you justify a repaint by a one seeding thing? I can see that. It's in the intro all the time for Beast mm. Wars as well, I suppose, for season bom, one. Bom, bom, bom. What are you doing? Are you looking for it or something? Bom. At the moment. Are, are, of, are you just making noises? Making noises. But yes, I am also trying okay. to find a reference picture because I don't remember it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll throw out here. Uh, I still think this figure looks ugly. Uh, I really don't like this figure at all. Um, still. I, mm. I think th- this is my issue with these these ones specifically. They tried to do two very difficult things. They tried to make a parts former a good toy yeah. and also make a bony skeleton uh, dinosaur. Uh, yeah. These these can work on their own, but putting them together make does not does not work, mm. or it, it's uh, incredibly difficult to make it work. And I don't like any of these dinosaur ones. There's only one dinosaur one that I like the look of, and that's the. The small one, the, uh, the one that it, it, if the, is is that the one that's the same scale as Rat Trap? Yeah, yeah. And you know what that one doesn't do? That one doesn't break apart <laughs> because it can focus on what it's like trying to do, which is be a bony dinosaur, even mm. if it's at a small scale. So yeah, this one I don't think looks too good. Uh, the the zombie uh, skids, uh, not skids, um, Blue Streak. Uh... Where did we get zombies from? Uh, there was an episode in War for Cybertron where they were just go driving through a place and randomly. Oh, and like, that. These are the sparklers. Yeah, this seems like we should have got this a while ago, I guess. Um, mm. If this is a real one, it's got not a terrible paint scheme to it. Ooh. It looks quite nice for the rusty effect. Um, I mean, a, a slightly redone head to make it look like his face was breaking apart or like cut in half or something would have wouldn't have been terrible, mm. uh, but it seems like it's just a repaint, so it's a bit boring. Also, we've had this mold um, four, five times now. At least, uh, well, okay, we'll we'll be more specific. The transformation scheme. There you oh, go. Oh, in that the case, transformation it's scheme. more like six. There will did, be. I think it's, it might Blue be more. Ride, did Blue Streak? There'll be more than that, wouldn't it? Let me hang on. Did Blue Streak get an Earth Rise toy? I'm sure he did. If not, he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> or Silver that's how Street, it be. or whatever the feck we're calling him today. I think it depends um, where you look. Generations, he had... Okay, so the original one, and yes, he had an Art Rise one as well. So, 
One, two, Prowl got two, uh, Barricade got two, yeah, mm-hmm. so six. Okay, I found more maybe, but yeah, uh, six, this will be number seven. Uh, and maybe there'll be another and, one. And smoke screen, obviously. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we've had so this mold seven. quite a few times. I can't eight. say I'm that thrilled to, oh god, yeah, I eight. can't say I'm that thrilled to see the transformation scheme again, mm. or a similar one. Maybe they do transform differently. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure, but I, either way, I'm not entirely thrilled to see it again. But fine, whatever. I guess. Mm. Uh, I think the new Cheetor looks better. Mm. I, I think the color, like the blue that they chose on this one, the more deeper blue, looks a lot nicer than the very turquoisey blue that the Kingdom toy was given. I'd much mm. rather have this version. Does make me wonder. Does this mean we'll get a more accurate Megatron? Will we get a more accurate? Um, who else didn't? Uh, 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 Black Arachnia. Will we get a more accurate? Who else um, mm. have we seen who didn't have a very accurate paint job? I think there was there Primal, was another one of the Primal Peace had Wars. some co- has some colors to could be changed, but um, not many. He's not yeah. too bad. And um, Rat Trap's pretty good. And Dinobot's Rat Trap's pretty good. Dinobot's pretty good. Yeah. Air I'm sure there was good. one other one where I was like, there's something not quite right about it. I can't remember. Either way, I do think this this does look uh, nicer. Uh, and Sparkless Einhide, I mean, it's just the kind of dirty paint job that the first wave of like uh, Siege had. But I guess it's more appropriate on this. Mm. But yeah. Um... Woo! <laughs> <laughs> What about, what about you, Mikey? What what do you think about um, these uh, four figures? I think the the Sparkless has definitely the best paint job. Okay, and it did that whole battle damage rusted look better than many of the mainline ones did. Um, I don't like the the like shoulders and head though because they're too clean. Mm, like the bits, yeah, that, the bits that aren't on the outside of the car are too clean. Yeah, yeah. Um, because like I'm not looking at this and thinking this guy transforms a lot. <laughs> um, Paleo Trex. I mean, I don't hate the mold. I'm not in love with it, but I don't hate it. Um, but the it's clear plastic again, which is always a worry, and mm, with mm. solid plastic, which never really lends. Um, Cheetor does look better, at least what we've seen of him. Yep. I'd like to see what the Cheetor mode looks like, and the Ironhide. I don't. I mean, it's a black version of what we had already, but it's got a qu- little Quintesson label on it. I've just noticed. Oh, uh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah I didn't see that either. Um, so, yeah. But, hey, if you miss that dry brushing, which I don't yeah. even think is real dry brushing, but... <laughs> Probably not. Probably not, because all, it's all the same. Yeah, it's all identical in every single figure and every single version of the mold. Yeah, and hey, you got to remember how significant they were in Earthrise as well. In yeah, they, they one ran. Scene? They ran a double dealer. Mm-hmm, yeah. I th- then... It was the only one scene, wasn't it? Or were they in like two scenes? No, I think it was just one. Okay. Yeah, they're but not like, in a lot. Like Mirage's weird Decepticon repaint that was mm. oh, very underwhelming in, in execution. What do you think about the idea of having a more tune, uh, accurate version of Cheeto, though? Um, I think it's nice. Um, hopefully it's not like a premium priced one or something like that, because I'd be annoyed to pay like slightly better paint job. Do you not think it's weird that they're doing it, though? Depends. It could be like a wave change or something like that. Mm, Okay. Or a box set. It could be, without knowing exactly how this is going to be released, it's difficult to judge whether it's a strange choice or not, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's weird, because, um, uh, no, I'll I'll talk about what I was going to say there in a bit, once we get to what we did this week. What were you going to say? What were you going to say? You'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned in to Moonbase 2. You're a bitch. There you go. Say other <laughs> words, better words, <laughs> complimentary uh, words. No words. Uh, I think that's all of the news done, uh, Mikey. I don't think there's anything else to cover unless you've got something. No, that's me done. All right, then, Mr. Mikey. Next meme. Next meme. <laughs> or in in our case, of course, what you been up to this week, Mikey? What, what you done for fun? Up to um, I don't think I I know I mentioned this to you off recording, but I don't think I actually said it on recording. I finished Yakuza Zero. Oh, okay. A, a, yeah, a I can't ago. remember if you said that on the podcast. To be honest, you did. You did say to me though. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. That is a game well worth anyone's time. Um. 
sometimes it succeeds basically despite itself. Like some of the <laughs> gameplay elements and some of the the grindy sub stories, especially one, um, can be a pain. It wasn't a good side story, was it not? It was. A, it was basically one of the most important ones for getting money in the game, which is like a oh. huge deal because of ex- how experience works and um and leveling up works. Right. Um. But it was just like repetitive. Like it wasn't uh. bad, but you would ha- you you'd spend a lot of time standing around waiting for a timer to to knock down. Right. Okay. So I never was like, okay, okay, cool. But the story is great. The characters are fantastic. Um, if you're familiar with Majima and Kiryu already, it's really engaging. Especially if you are into Majima, because the story is really a lot deeper on his side. Because Kiryu is basically like, hey, it's Kiryu when he was a, a bit more hot-headed than he is in later years. Majima, you basically find out how the fuck he works. Like, Would you what? say it's better to play this game later and not play it first? Okay, here's the thing. I think playing it first is not a bad idea at all. Okay. But the char- like Majima specifically, the character of Majima changed dramatically starting in the second game. Mm-hmm. Um, like in the first game and the original version before Kiwami or anything, he was just like a card carrying villain. And then from two on, he sort of morphed into the the deuteragonist of the series, or at least like he's on your side. He's always on your side, and he's. This whole crazy thing is a facade he's, like, pushing more than anything else. Um, so if you play Zero first, you get the origin of all that. But then you'll play Kiwami and you'll be like, why is this really moral character beating a guy with a bat for no reason? <laughs> and it's just like, oh, because when this was originally conceived, he was just a, we need a guy to fill in some boss fights. Right. Um, but... Yeah. So, but then, uh, like, they actually changed Kiwami a lot to uh, add in more like character stuff for him. So, like, uh, it basically was like, listen, we have to keep these things in because we said we remake the game, but just pay attention to the stuff we added in. Ignore the rest of it. Um. So yeah. Um. Also, uh, played Astral Chain on the Switch. Still playing that. Oh. Um. Again, not sure if I mentioned that on here, but I do know I mentioned it to you. It's a platinum yes. game. Um, and it is a uh, basic story is the you're in sort of like a post-apocalyptic earth. We've all retreated to one small section called the Ark because interdimensional alien monsters are coming in and snatching people. Um, and you're a member of you're one of two twins where you're working for a sort of a subsection of the police who chain these monsters and use them to fight the other monsters. Hence the name Astral Chain. Um, like Pokemon. Like evil Pokemon, yes. Um, so I'm still not, just because of time, I'm not super far into it, but uh, it's very, very platinum. Uh, pretty competent combat, enjoying the combat. Story is light, but likable so far. Um, someone mm. asked me on Twitter, like when I said I was playing it, like, what do you what do you think of the story? So I'm just like, what, what uh, am I expecting something? What aren't you telling me, nerds? Um, but yeah, visuals are cool. Uh, it's got a silent protagonist, which is really weird to me because you're you you choose between a brother or a sister, and no matter which one you choose, the other like your the the remaining sibling is is voiced. Mm. Um, so I'm just like, why not just voice them both? Because it's not it's really not a self insert story. There's nothing about this that's making you feel like you are the the character. When I saw like playthroughs, or saw a bit of a playthrough of hmm. it, I, I did think it was a really weird aspect of the game. Yeah, like, it feels why, like, why did they do it? It feels like it was a carryover from an earlier version or something. You know? mm. um, yeah, no, that's that's a fun game. It's I, I'd say it's worth checking out if you got a Switch. Um, still doing the exercise stuff, although I'm a bit wrecked today, so I haven't done anything. Um, any anything else notable? Um, yeah, got a box, well, my Christmas box from Hobby Frontline. Oh, they dropped something. No, no, it's fine. Uh, my Christmas box from Hobby Frontline, which had a few kits that I got. Um, so, 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 we, I got um the Shin Kakuo Versago SD. So this is an SD kit of the Versago from Gundam X. Ooh, oh, you uh, got it. Oh, good. In a Sengoku... It's from a series called Sengoku-an, I believe. Yes. And it's from like a, a medieval Japanese style. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah. this is... it's Okay, so there's multiple versions of this kit, but they all seem to be identical as far as I can tell, apart from mm. the fact that one comes with an extra set of eye stickers. Um, so you get a base kit, 
um, and he's got a rotatable head, which you can have like a, a normal face or a more like mecha angry face with real vicious eyes, uh, which I currently have on. And then you have multiple armor versions of this. So you can armor him up into sort of a winged knight version, or you can give him the long arms from the show. And the armor then comes off and forms into basically a fly. Hmm. Uh, a robot fly. Um, he's really fun. He's really fun. He's really nice to mess with. Only problem is the arm connection isn't very good. So the it's very easy to take his arms out of his sockets. It's very easy to get them back in as well. But it's it's just that vibe of, okay, this is just a little bit of an engineering flaw. Right. Um, I also got in that box the Legolas Gundam and Flame Toys G1 Optimus. Haven't touched them yet. Probably won't for a while. Um, so we're just gonna let them sit there. And the other thing I got, and this is a line I've never tried before, but it was really cheap, uh, Keropla. Have you heard of Keropla? I have. It was one of the things that I got from the last TF Nation I went to. Huh. Oh, yes, you went to the good one. Yes. I got, I got, uh, the green one, whatever that one was. Yeah, so for anyone who doesn't know, Caro, it, Caro, Caro, I think it is, it's like this ongoing thing about, like, crazy anime frogs. Basically, um, and um, they did a line of mechas, uh, mecha model kits. Um, so I they, they did like a sequel series to that, which is uh, another Japanese themed one. So I got the Karapla Ashigaru Tamama Robo. So I'm just going to show you. So these are robots piloted by a frog <laughs> that uh, have a, like a, a mild transforming gimmick to them. Right. Mm. So this is what I got. Um, yeah, I think this guy looks... I'm still only started building him. I will say painting the eyes and the frog took me like half an hour, 45 minutes. Yes, I got, I'm got. i pretty sure I got the green version of this one. Mm. I think but, this one's the cooler one, though. This looks cooler than the one I have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it took me ages to do the, his eyes. Like I did stickers on the robot's eyes. Um, still got loads and loads and loads to do in him. But he's a, he's a fun little thing and like really good price. The... Thing that caught me completely off guard because I didn't know this until I started looking at the instructions. These things form a combiner. They do, yeah. It makes uh, you want to get more, but then yeah. you go, "Do I really want to buy more?" Of yeah, them? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like this, a five-part combiner. Yeah, I, I had no idea when I was buying this. It was a combiner, so I, I, I don't know if I will or won't. I don't know if we'll see. We'll see how I feel once it's built. I think the the best thing about the one you have is the face of the pilot. He seems very, very, very happy. Yeah, about uh, killing. <laughs> yeah, he is a, a happy, happy-go-lucky fella. Oh yeah, um, and like really fun to paint his face. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it was some anime this week because the new season oh, started up. Um, only really got to it this weekend. Uh, but what did I go? We leave the big one for last. Um, so I watched I Am a Spider. So what? Or Kumo Desuga Nanika. Mm. Which is one, J I watched it because Jai said he really liked it uh, when it was a manga or a light novel or something. Um, it's These are all this se all of these that are one of Rasekai's because I haven't gotten to the other ones I was interested in yet. Because um, there's a few like robot based ones and some other comedy ones and stuff in here that I want to check out as well. But mm. um, so basic story of this from episode one is a class seemingly dies in a big green explosion. And they all get resurrected. Uh, the main character uh, gets resurrected as a monster spider. And everyone else gets resurrected in different form. Most of them are human. One of them's like a little dog dragon thing. Um, and there seems to be two parallel plots. The first plot is the spiders. And it's basically about her surviving and being a badass spider. Okay. And she is, of course, the I was a massive shot-in gamer girl, blah, blah, blah type. Oh, so uh, it's what you've seen before, basically. Yeah. Um, okay. and it's also got the video game stats element to it, and and but like it's quite brutal because she does eat everything she kills. Okay. Uh, and like cannibalism is introduced fairly quickly. Um, <laughs> and the other story seems to be a standard like we are going to be the hero story. Um, it's quite well animated. Um, mm -hmm. it's done by uh Mill Penzi. They do a lot of there's a bit of CGI in it, but it's not uh, like bad CGI. Um. Is it background or foreground stuff? Uh, it's the spider, the animals and stuff. Okay. So the humans are more traditional and the spider and everything else are uh, 3D. But um, I don't like the thing this made me think of most was the reincarnated of the slime series. Right. Yeah. So in a, I, in a good way, would you say, or a bad uh, way? In basically the same way. Like that's a show that a lot of people love. And I'm kind of like, 
I like it. I don't love it. Yeah, I, um, I just gave up with it because I, I just kind of got tired of it because it didn't, again, didn't feel like it was doing anything. It, just, it felt like popcorn TV more yeah, so than yeah. anything. Um, I'm going to watch a few episodes of this, see if it goes in any interesting direction. But like, that's like, listen, listen, if you're hitting a lot of the tropes, like that's not a being coming away and like, OK, that's enjoyable enough. That's not bad. Mm. Um, The next one I watched, and this was just complete random, random thing. Um. Okay, I can't read that Japanese title. The basic store, the basic title is "Guy Weakling from the Strongest Village Goes to Regular Town." Okay, basically, guy grows up in a village. He's considered the big weakling. Um, his boss or his master, who's a is a uh, like child mage thing, says like, "You need to go down to this town and apply to be a hero." And she's like, "Okay, I'll do it because I'm a sucker and I'm weak and I need to help out." And he gets sent down to work with one of her old students who's a witch who is not happy about it. And then he does a test and it turns out be like he is the weakling of his of his village. His village is like inherently like they're all descended from like superheroes. Ah, of so, course. OK, so like he picks like he's way stronger than everyone around him. Um, He doesn't realize it, though, and is like saying, oh, everyone's so nice. Oh, like you don't need to lie to me like that. I'm I'm really pathetic. I know I'm pathetic. I'm nothing. <laughs> um, it's I I I I actually laughed a fair bit during it, which surprised me. And the animation's pretty solid, in all honesty. Um, it was surprised me. I'm go- again. I'm gonna try a few more episodes of it, but I didn't mind it at all. Like it's it's not an isekai, but it's very much following like a lot of isekai tropes. Right. But I, I I'm curious about it. I'm curious. It looked it looked fun, and like I said, it made me laugh. Um, another one, and this is an interesting one, I would say. Um, Jobless Reincarnation, or Musoko Tensei. Um, so, stop me if you've heard this one before. Okay. There's a truck. I've seen it. Then stop. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> <laughs> so, a jobless uh, nerd right. uh, gets run over by a truck. Yeah, yeah. And as he's dying, he hears like a woman crying and the guy talking, and he get as he dies, he reincarnates as a baby. Um, oh, this is the first Isekai yes, one, isn't it? This yeah, yeah. This is why I'm watching this because I knew right. I knew about this originally, and apparently it gets quite dark. So far, it's like very typical, but from what I was reading, I mean, I mean, when you say it gets quite dark, are we talking about like V Zero? Are we talking about? I don't like, know. Ah, I just know Pokemon. that like, <laughs> apparently it gets dark. Okay. And like I would say, like tonally, it ain't aiming for the kids' crowd. Well, no, because I, I saw some screen clips of it, and the baby's like, "Oh, I'm gonna suck on her fucking titties." Yeah, that's like, okay. <laughs> that's not what I'm like. There's much more than that. Okay, wow. The ba- okay, because the baby quickly goes like, "Oh, well, that's my mother. That's really, that's just disappointing, really." Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, the mother and father are, shall we say, quite active. Okay, good and for them. There's a lot of voice acting in those scenes. Is it one of those ones where you had to turn down the volume? I'm glad I was wearing headphones. Um, oh, that works. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And but um, basic like he gets reincarnated. He starts learning magic. It's take so the first episode kind of takes place over like I'd say three or four years, maybe a bit more. Um, okay. And at the end of it, he gets a magic teacher, and he impresses her with his like he can do things that she can't, and it ends on her being welcomed into the the family of like you're our living teacher girl. Um. It must be quite impressive for like parents to be like, "Wow, this child already knows a lot of words for being a baby." Oh no, he did. He did. They didn't do that. Like he couldn't really talk earlier or anything. Like he bio- he, he biologically he speaks at the same rate. Well, but, like, he I, was mean, already I mean, even then, an like adult. he was. A, yeah, I mean, even that. Like early. as soon as soon as you can speak, you can mm. have like full on adult conversations. That would be kind of worrying. He doesn't as a do parent. it. Kind of interesting. Like he's still kind of framed as I'm a child, but like I, I like. It's kind of like, what if you stuck a, an adult in the child's body, but he's still controlled by, like, childish urges and things like that? Okay, so d- is he, like, the, I always thought this was a weird idea, because I've seen this happen before, because he always treat so the many... kid as still a kid. Yeah. So why would they be a kid? Why wouldn't they act like an adult? I think it's just, like, biology. Okay. Or, like, you know, my brain is this, de- my soul might be this developed, but my brain isn't. Okay, that's yeah. weird. Um, well, I mean, like, your brain is, like, literally not the same when you're that age, so, I mean, like, mm. you could just say, like, I've got the memories, but I also super want to climb into this basket and hide. <laughs> um, 
But you say that, but then, but then you say like uh, <laughs> inside the baby's brain, he's gonna be like, "Ooh, I'm gonna suck on a titty." Like I don't yeah, think a baby's then, uh, usually but... thinking like that. I don't know. Ask a baby. Um... <laughs> there was another shot of him with like pants, panties on his face, looking yeah, up oh, at the baby, going, Ugh. "That's that is mostly played as he's just being a weird kid." Okay. He, even even from his perspective, it's mostly him just being a weird kid. Does he have an inner monologue of why am I doing this? He has an inner monologue of my God, look at those ma- what she's packing, basically, <laughs> because he's he's looking at the maid. But um, it Weird. is incredibly tropey, right? Well, yeah, I suppose it would be being the first so one. That's but this is what's fascinating because like when we watched Re Zero and we watched um Hamifora, Fuma the the villainous and other mm. ones, other other isekais that we thought were actually really really good. Yeah. Um. We both know that there are a thousand ripoffs of both. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. And the thing about both of those shows is that they got ripped off because they took a formula and made it fucking work. Yeah. I was very, very, very curious about this because this the 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 original story is from like twenty eleven. Oh my god! Wow, ten years ago. Holy crap! <laughs> Which is very interesting because if you actually think on the Sekai stories, right? The Sekai stories have been around since like the mid eighties at at least. Yeah, yeah, technically, And they followed a very different formula up until about 10 years ago. Hmm. A very different formula, in fact. Um, Like, oh, it it, it would be a story about a guy being abducted to another world, and then there'd always be a story of, like, will he go home, will he not? Or will she go home? Will she not? Because female protagonists were a lot more common then as well. Um, Usually it was, like, aliens or super technological stuff. Mm. Like, or, like, or their time travel was a big thing. Or all three mixed together. And magic was usually part of it as well. But the since this story came out, because it was originally a novel, the entire genre has shifted to this die reincarnated magical world, usually with your memories intact or something like that. And I guess to still have the the kind of hangover from Sword Art Online as well to to add in the video game element, right? Yeah, because that's a, that's a thing more now. So than yeah, probably yes. then this doesn't have that. Yeah, Thank thankfully. God. Um, but I was very interested. And like, honestly, when I'm, what I hit when I'm watching it is like, oh, this, I've seen this before. And I'm like, I have seen this before because this thing started everything. But (laughs) I found the writing fairly fun. Right. I found the character fairly like engaging. Like he had a little bit more in common with Kazuma than most of these guys. Oh, that's good. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. That that actually Um, makes him sound interesting then. Yeah. Um, the plot was fairly rapid very good pacing in the plot and this is a new animation studio uh studio bind they're called solid very very solid um they do some action the what little action is in this they do they do it with some like a bit of a plum shall we say is there um, only one episode out so far one episode came out today actually oh um, okay and this is the first show studio bind have done they did a bit of work on one or two other shows as like assistance but this is their first time as doing their own series oh, um wow. it's been confirmed it's going to run to at least 26 episodes uh uh but here's the thing the story is d- like the the manga adaptation everything else of this story is still ongoing the original story is done okay so the original story actually the first the first version of the story ended in like 2013 2015 mm. something like that it only ran for a few years that doesn't and... mean they'll actually finish it though no, but fair. 26 episodes for something that only had, like, three or four volumes. Right, okay. So, I I think they've got a good chance of at least getting it done in one or two seasons. You um, don't think it'll be one of those things where they'll just leave it and go, Ah, buy the manga! Or, ah, buy the visual no, novel! Because, or the novels, no, because, like, say. this is, like, history. Like, this okay. is, like, adapting Ushio and Tori, you know? Mm. That's what this is. That's what's fascinating me about this. Like, you couldn't do that with Ushi and Tora. You had to go to the... In fact, Ushi and Tora were so obsessed with getting to the end of the story, they cut oh, out they rushed it. a yeah, large they cut chunk out. of the story. A noticeable chunk where you, yeah. got to, where you got to the end and Who are these people? Who are you? <laughs> Should I know any of these extra people? Yeah. But they were like, no, we're getting it done, and we're getting it done in a year. So, yeah. Um, this story is done. There's adaptations that are ongoing, but this story is done. So and they're not a huge story. So I am curious. I liked enough what I saw. I would say it's going to push a few buttons with some people. Okay. Um, like I said, from what I understand, and I know very very little about this, it turned dark, and apparently, like the whole novels went over basically this guy's whole life. 
like from child to adult to old man. Mm. Um, so I'm curious. I'm very, very curious about it. I, I'm get, I'm definitely willing to give it a shot. And like I said, I was surprised by how good the animation was. Um, but the big one, the big one this week was ReZero's back. Yay! And oh my god, is it so obvious they got fucked over by COVID. Oh, uh, why, why did you say that? Because this is not the start of a new season at all. In terms of what? It's a, it's a direct, unending sequel to the episode we saw last time. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I thought you meant, like, the animation quality had dipped no, no. or something. Basically, and I checked this, everything was... The entire show was scripted to be a single, ongoing, no-break run-through. Right, and then they had to, because of then COVID, they, split it into two seasons. Yeah. First or two got, parts. First, because of COVID, they got delayed. Mm. And then, because of COVID, they had to, like, split it into two so they could get it done. So, okay. well, I, I read some reviews, and they were like... They were knocking marks off for like this isn't a season opener, and it I feel like it hurt the episode. And I was just like, it's not the show's fault that it, they got fucked over, right? Yeah, and I I can I, 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 I can see why there'd be confusion though because there are shows yeah. that obviously do do two part oh, yeah, seasons yeah, yeah. and are yeah. structured as such. But like you say, if you don't if you don't know that there was a, an issue because of COVID. Then I guess that would make sense. Yeah. yeah, but it's not. It's not their like. It was not their intent to do it that way. Sure, it's and just I, circumstance happened. And they, I, I would rather they told a story they meant to tell rather than altering yes. it. So like, oh, we had to have a season ending. We had to have a season start. <sighs> I doubt that. To be honest, they probably couldn't change it. You know, yeah. COVID hit, and they were they were probably too far into production to do any th- any changes mm-hmm. to it if they had to. Yeah, um, but yeah, um, follows on directly from what we had before. I would recommend at least doing like a quick episode recap, or like maybe just it. like episode one. You mean or the entire or season? Like read, re- you well, you could rewatch the whole season three zero, <laughs> but um, may- or just read a quick episode guide for like mm. the, the the last couple of episodes because like it took me a minute to catch up to what everything was going on. Um, right, just because it's been months. Um, that said, oh, it's good. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's very good. It's very emotional. I nearly had me in tears in the first minute, um, which is bad because the season's already been quite a quite a tearjerker already. I'd say yep. part one was already kind um, of a oh god. Oof. It's 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 that moment that Subaru frequently gets of right. Come at me, fate. I'm gonna punch <laughs> you in the dick. Um, and like we get a really emotional bit with Am- uh with Amelia. Yeah, Amelia. <laughs> what is your name? Um, Ame, Ame Chan. No. Yes. Well, that I, would be a very different I'm, show. <laughs> I'm having a weird blackout because I'm sh- I'm sure her name's Amelia, right? It is Amelia, yeah. It, yeah. Because he calls her Amelia Tan. Yeah. Yeah, Amelia. I don't know why that, that suddenly is done. Well, am I sure about that? Because but... you're thinking of uh, Amelia from Hollow Live. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's why that's why it's confusing you. <laughs> I'm but, sure. Yeah, there's a the really emotional bit with her where I think mm. a character... I'm not 100% sure because it's not... It, Confirm, confirmed. But I think someone might have died. Okay. In a way where I don't think they're coming back. Okay. I'm not, a, again, I'm not 100% sure in this, but it's also like a big plot moment. Um, there's a good confrontation with Rosewall. Um, we find out a bit more about the little clone girls from season one. Or part oh, one. Yeah. Um, and yeah, like this is set up. This is like, all right, we ain't re- hitting the reset button on this one. Um, this is like the, the the white whale incident, or where they're going after Betelgeuse. Yeah, right. Th- those moments where it's like, all right, he's hit, he's hit his point. Like, um, which is more. I always like it because with Super, it's more about he's not come up with a plan. It's just he's hit the emotional point where okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, but yeah, Re Zero, uh, excellent, amazing experience as a television show, and I'm looking forward to next week. Woo, Andy, what about you? Uh, what did I get up to this week? Uh, not a huge amount, as usual. Played, been playing Hades. Have you heard of Hades, Mikey? I have heard of Hades. I saw it was on Maximilian Dude's top five games of 2020. Yeah, um, I'd already heard about it beforehand and wanted to play it before uh, I'd seen Max play it. Uh, but that that's a very good game. That's, that's a lot of fun. Um, it's, I can't remember who the guys are that made it, but it's the same people that did uh, Bastion and Transistor, I think. So it's the, it, the, both of those games are kind of isometric y kind of. Um, those ones I don't think are roguelike. This one is a roguelike. Yeah. Uh, but I much prefer this one. And I don't know whether I prefer this one because it's got the Greek mythology 
or whether I think just the story is better overall. Um, it might be the, the story is just more interesting. Mm. And I like the Greek mythology a lot as well. But I do feel the, the Greek mythology stuff might be the most used mythology in video games. Uh, most used mythology in anything. Greek and yeah. Viking. Yeah, that yeah, Greek and Norse, which is it, that's that's fine. They're they're both very interesting, but you know, there's some other ones people could use. Like I, I remember Egyptian mythology is pretty cool. Yeah, but it's not Greek. It's you, I mean that's true. That you, is a fact. You know, you have to explain all the other mythologies. That's the thing. Oh, I'd you like do, them to though. Yeah, but they don't want to because they want something that people can go like, okay, Odin, Thor, Zeus, Hera, okay. I want to know about Osiris and all that stuff. Nope, it's that requires funny. explanation, and oh. people are idiots and and can't have things explained. I mean, I mean, Greek is is easy in a lot of ways to set up story for because you know Greek tragedy it literally writes itself or has been <laughs> written already for the most part. So, Greek you know. tragedy, it's a it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a, it's not a happy thing, but it's a thing. Uh, but I've been enjoying that a lot. I'll be playing that tonight as well. Because, uh, yeah, it's it's fun. I have yet to beat my dad. I haven't exited Hades yet. As you play as Zagreus trying to get out of hell to find your mum, per- mm. Persephone, I think her name is. Persephone. Who I, 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 what's that? Persephone. That's it. Persephone, goddess of flowers, something lame. Is that right? Mm. Sure, story. I believe, if I remember right, either her or her daughter is trapped in there half the year. Something like that. Yeah, I like Hades is not an element of Greek mythology. I'm super up on. Uh, all I remember is ninety percent of uh, all the gods are just assholes all the time. Anyway, mm. like just just dicks for no particular reason apart from yeah, she'll be an asshole today. Yeah, yeah, all right. yeah. Why not? Make uh, <laughs> Medusa gets uh, uh touched uh, inappropriately by Poseidon in Athena's temple. And Athena goes, yeah, I'm gonna. Cur-. Is it Athena? It might be. It might be Athena. It might be someone else. And then she goes, oh, I'm gonna turn you into a monster. It's like, <laughs> why? Why, why didn't you help me? <laughs> and why am I being punished? Poseidon just like, hey, hey, <laughs> peace, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Uh, it's interesting though. I think Greek mythology is really interesting, and the game's. Mm. It looks great. It plays really well. Uh, it's it's good. It's fun. Uh, in terms of other things played, uh, I don't think I've done any of that, and I don't really think I've watched anything that's worth talking about. Uh, I did get some Beast what, uh, Beast Wars figures, Beast Wars Kingdom stuff. Uh, yeah! I got uh, Primal, and I got Black Arachnia. Because I was like, oh, um, how much are they online? How much are they on Smiths? And I went, oh, if I just buy two figures, I get free postage on them. I may as well just buy them and order them in. Uh, so yeah, they they they're good figures. Uh, I'm sure people are shocked to hear. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have seen reviews on these guys, so no real surprise there. A lot of the joints are quite tight. I'll talk about Primal first. Um, an issue I do have with him are that his the top of his hips. You know how the the white kind of splits uh, goes up and splits, and mm. you can see the ball joint in his leg or the the hinge joint in his leg. Just the 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 the. I don't even know what kind of joint it is, but you can see that joint. The mm. white on the inside of that, that rubs it rubs against the uh, inside of the crotch, and paint has come off at least on one side of that, and and no, on both sides, in fact, just because of how the how the shape is, and you know, just moving those legs rubs off the paint, mm. uh, which is a bit of a shame. But I don't think much could be done about it, and at least it's not in a massively obvious place. Uh, it's a little bit scary. Uh, transforming him at first because the way that you split the chest uh, in half by grabbing like both arms and then grabbing like the top of the head and pulling in the opposite direction uh, mm-hmm. to try and split the chest in half which is again a bit scary there are some joints in in the, the ch- uh, around the shoulders as well almost like a butterfly joint uh, and I'm not exactly sure how far they're allowed to move but they do give a little bit of extra motion but not, not a huge amount uh, and I wish the um, the swords could peg into the his back a little bit better. Mine are a bit easy to knock out, I find. But overall, he's mm. he's very very good. Oh oh, mine also has a big stress mark in the bottom of his foot uh, around the ball joint, which is a bit concerning. Um, I'm hoping it won't break. Uh, but apart from yeah. that, it's it's very good. Uh, it's very it's almost scarily tight uh, in some places. Uh, but the way that his uh, forearm uh, guns come out uh, is really cool. 
Uh, there mm. is just like a button on the inside of his forearm that you just push and you just uh, push up the guns and then you, they're on a little hinge joint as well so then you can hinge them up so they're pointing out of his forearm which is pretty cool. His guns that came from behind his back can be stored in his back as usual or you can have them folded out. Um, and the gorilla mode's really good. Uh, it's got mm. a lot of possibility to it. There, there's a lot of fun to be had. Um you can also have your monkey hold two giant si- uh, knives as well, because, you know, that's I suppose that's one bad thing. Obviously, there's nowhere to put the giant swords in monkey mode, so you just kind of got to either have them him holding it as a monkey, which is kind of intimidating in its own way, <laughs> uh, or, you know, you just stick them on his back or you put them in a box somewhere. But mm. no, I'm, I'm quite impressed with Primal. He's he's good. He feels nice in the hands. Feels good. I'd, I'd recommend getting him, Mr. Mikey, if you mm. desire a, prim- a Primal in the future. Mm-hmm. Let me put him down. Don't fall over. Hey. Uh, B- Black Arachne is uh, really good as well. Uh, she's a little bit more scary because of how thin she is. Mm. Um, I'm trying to think. Apparently, the tab on the part underneath her boobs uh, is a bit of a, a, a risky place that can break. Mine haven't broken yet, uh, but it's something for people to be aware of. Mm-hmm. Uh, she looks great. It's it's a really well done figure. The transformation's a little bit on the uh I, messy is messy the right word it's a little bit fiddly just because you've got to rearrange all of the legs uh yeah. which can be a, and and shove them into her spider ass which can be a little bit difficult um and the way that the legs kind of clip down uh you can actually see that there is a the the way that they clip down it's just a the uh, the knee joint is one joint but there's like a a tab that slightly pokes out and you j- to to get them to stay down you just kind of push them into place and they kind of lock in um and there is a, at least for me a bit of a worry that over time they're just going to wear away to nothing just because of you know how things wear down and, and clips work um and i kind of wish the knees on her were a little tighter they're fine but i just wish they're a little tighter i hear that chris mcfeely had a problem where he cracked the uh spider hands for her robot mode you know have the little claws he yeah. cracked one of them off um and he, he i remember him saying he was surprised they weren't made out of rubber because it's one of the parts that you'd expect to be rubber these days but isn't yeah um would have been nice for a waist joint as well but i think overall she's she's very good i'm way more happy with her than it would be with a masterpiece toy uh, it's also ridiculously cheaper as well i think you get much more value out of out of this than you do the masterpiece uh, she's yeah. got a lot of articulation. Lot of lot of articulation. Uh I guess the only other thing is she maybe has quite a few I mean she does she doesn't maybe she definitely has quite a few pins in her which might be dangerous in t- in the future. I guess you will need to wait and see but overall very impressed. Looking forward to getting the Megatron in the future which is going to be on Smith's um website on the 27th. Mm. of the month or something like that so yeah i saw that i'll i'll probably i'll probably grab it because you know uh i want it <laughs> pretty much this has impressed me uh the only shame now is that rat trap and that scale that that one uh vertebrex or vertebeak whichever one he said he was called yeah, yeah. uh aren't available on on um smiths so mm. I, I need to get rat trap by some other means, and that's basically hoping that Kapower and Demand Toys get them back in stock at some point one day mm. in the future. Who can say? Who can say? Who can say? But yeah, Kingdom. Oh, I said I'd mentioned the thingy, didn't I? Because uh, you get random does. cards, don't you? Uh, in in oh, these yes, Kingdom I figures. About that. Yeah, and the, there's no there's no way to know what you're gonna get. Uh, in the Black Arachnia one, I can't remember what. It, oh, I got the Ark. I got the Ark with Black Arachnia, but mm. I can't remember what was under the foil for that. In the primal one, I got a black arachnia card, and underneath that was a different color scheme for her. So, do you do you want me to oh. tell you what the color scheme was? Yeah, go ahead. All right, I'm gonna have to take off my headphones and go over to Zipbox. He can't hear me. I can say anything I'd like. Yeah, it's uh, live, people. I don't he have is... my headset on, so I can't hear what Mikey's saying. Big, I'm sure it's biggest, something biggest. kind, because that's how he is. Small. Here's the card. Come on, out of the box. Small. Small. Okay. It'll go on forever. Ugh. Come on, headset. Uh, there we are. I'm back. Hello, Mikey. Hello, and I didn't realize you'd left. Ah, uh, that's mean. Okay. <laughs> so the color scheme she's got is, oddly enough, kind of similar to the... Uh, what's it called? The Transmetal version. Her boobs are purple, 
the uh, claws, instead of being yellow, seem to be a reddish colour. Mm. Uh, her shoulders are purple-ish, uh, are the same purple, but then around the edges, they've got uh, the red kind of around them. Mm. Uh, there's a lot more colour on her. Uh, the knees are, again, the purple. Uh, the sh- Part of the shins is purple, but it's primarily gold. And it also yeah. has a bit of red on there as well. So it's a really, in- I-, I think it's a really interesting looking color scheme. Uh, also in the background is, I guess, Dinobot. Uh, it might be Megatron. And Wasmanator and Scorponok as well. Uh, and there's also, it's, there's also Woo Woo written in Cybertronian. I have mm. no idea what that says. Oddly enough as well, um, it says Black Arachnia and has a, what I would say is a Maximal symbol. But it's slightly different maximal symbol. I don't know if that's like the new symbol for um, you know the the kingdom people because maybe it, they're all on the same team. Is it um, is is the regular colored one, Decepticon, uh, Predacon, or a maximal symbol? It's Predacon uh, on a, on a boob at least. Maybe the color scheme is from is them going like she'll do the maximal shift. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just checking, and uh, the maximal symbol is on her boob as well. So yeah, it seems like this new color scheme would be. I don't know whether it'll be spoilers. Maybe it might be spoilers. related to the. <laughs> it might be related to the story, or it might just be like a, a generation select kind of deal. I don't know. Repaint that lady. Yeah, yeah, it's a good toy. Um, though to be honest, mm. uh, I I would give her one of two color schemes. I would give her the color scheme from that the the one island episode which we mentioned before, the gray one. Mm, 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 or mm. what was the universe one? Um. Oh God, that was for the Beast Machines one, wasn't it? Was it? Oh, you might be right. Shit. Yeah. Oh. Let's let's see. Universe. Oh, Universe Black Arachnia. Because mm. I remember that color scheme was really cool. Actually, most a lot of the Universe ones were really good. Ah, yeah, it was for the Transmetal one. Mm. Uh, I think I think if we get a Tarantulas, uh, we need him done in the Universe color scheme because that was really cool as well. Uh the the black and silver. Yeah, the black and silver mm, one. Mm, that, that looked that's really, really good. Nice. Yeah, maybe that's what. Uh, actually, I don't know. I think the I don't think the color scheme is going for the universe color. Mm. Yeah, I, th- I think it's going more for the Transmetal two coloring, or mm. or maybe the animated version. I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I thought it was kind of interesting to see. So yeah, uh, that's been what I've been up to. That's been what I've been up to. Wowzers, wowzers, Mikey. Oh, boy. Wowzers indeed. Wow, as Miko would say. Wow, wow. I I did watch Corone and and Miko uh, play uh, uh, a way out. I think it's called yes. or something like that. That was fun. That was a good yes, video. Two parter. They times. did. <laughs> they did, and bless them. They couldn't understand the story. No, I don't know. It was great. in English. Like, there was just this moment. I was watching the subs for like obviously I was watching the subs. For, there was just this wonderful moment of just like something emotional happening. Corone, are you sad? No, I'm not sad. I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Leo. Lio. No, What's your Leo. Name? Pauses until someone says, God damn. God damn. <laughs> that's not is, your name. My name. God. Like when Miko gets the English better, that's that's terrifying. It's worrying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have some. Uh, well, we have a question from Tentomon and we also have a message via Facebook. Uh, from Chris, so we'll go with Tentamon first. God, Jewel, and Got New Year, motherfuckers. I'm sh- I'm sure that's good New Year and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> what TF toys are you looking forward to next year? For me, it's most of Kingdom with all the beasts and boners. But um, so what figures are you it. looking forward to this year, Mikey? I get it. Um, flame toys ones like all the flame toys that are coming out, I think look really good. How many um, other that we know about? There's rod, there's hot rod, there's the wind blade, which we talked about. Yeah, um, uh, and then which you can the go, ones... go into the other lines as well. But I, they're too expensive for me. But I, no, that, that, that I wasn't cool. going to include them just because like yeah. you, you'd like them, but you don't yeah. have silly money. Like, I'm still <laughs> just waiting. Going like, please announce a primal as a kit, please. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Peco pain. Yeah, uh, Dinobot I think is a big one. Megatron as well. Um, mm-hmm. They're two I'm really interested in. I like Primal and the rest, but like Dinobot and Megatron are two of my favorite characters from that show. They're fucking fantastic. You're not and getting Black toy... Arachnia? Oh, obviously I'm getting Black Arachnia. Oh, okay. But um, <laughs> I'm, we're talking like which ones I'm super excited for. Like that's okay, just what, fair that's play. just like okay, I'm getting something. Like I'm getting her. But mm-hmm. um, because like I got to admit this, I was never a super fan of Black Arachnias. Oh, I like okay. her. She's just mm-hmm. never been someone I like flipped out over. 
No, like, uh, as a kid, because obviously I was a kid when I watched the show, I was much mm. more of a Rampage fan. Yeah, Rampage is cool. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah, and, like, and Quick Strike. <laughs> like but that's King, not going to happen. The, the beast element of Kingdom, I think, is looking really strong. Yes, I mean we've we've made we've complained about the the non beast element of it mm. before. <laughs> uh, um, but so I, I am... yeah, I, I'm pretty excited to get any mm. uh, any of them. But same as you, I think the one I'm most excited to get is probably Megatron. Mm. Uh, the other ones, I'm just I I want to get, but I, it's not like oh yeah Megatron. Yeah, because yeah. the, there's there's too many things about the Dinobot uh, beast mode which I think look weird. Mm. And not in a good way. Weird. I think. I think he maybe should have been a, a, a leader. Yeah. To try and fix some of the 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 like the worst thing about it. The worst thing. The only thing they'd really have to change, unless it incredibly hampers the the robot mode, is the weird limp wristed dinosaur hands he has. Mm. They're weird. They're. They're odd. They're an odd choice that don't make any sense. <laughs> unless it's essential for them to be that shape for how he transforms. Mm, mm. Then it's it's a it's an odd choice. Yeah. Even the um, even the announced ones, apart from like maybe maybe I'm excited. Yeah, Tarantulas. I'd, I'd say I'm excited for Tarantulas to see what they do with him. Mm. Even though I think his better design is a transmetal form. Yeah, I'm curious about Tigertron. I wish I cared more about Tigertron. The problem is I I don't. Yeah, but no one cares about like, I, like no true. one cares about Air <laughs> Razor, and I think Air Razor looks really good. That's true. Yeah, she does look very good. No, so... Isn't Tigatron a Voyager, isn't he? Voyager, I believe so, yes. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you, he will be different from Cheeto, at the very least. So that, mm. that's good. Oh, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting Cyclonus. Everyone's uh, blowing their uh, proverbial pre-cum load uh, on, online about Cyclonus at the yeah. moment. Yeah, see, everyone says that. And last time people said that about Cyclonus, I got really disappointed when I got it. Yeah, but you're like the only person who didn't like Andy, that figure. Andy, its shoulders don't work. Mine did. I ne- they never popped out when I was playing with mine. Well, you're you're a devil. Also, I don't think the transformation is that good, and I don't like it that much. I never have. Yeah, that's fine. But you're the so, only person. <laughs> maybe I'm right. Straxus is better. No one talks about Straxus. Um, it was a better toy, and I was more excited by it. The um, only thing I didn't like about the Straxus mold was it. It was too easy to get parts to bump into each other. Yes, not transforming that, it. That was a definite problem. Um, he was good know, though. Like was good. none of the masterpieces, I'm super excited about. I mean, I mean, you and I are just not the masterpiece mm. crowd. Yeah. Um, who else? I'm trying to think because like not much has actually been announced beyond Kingdom. That's the problem. Like the third party stuff, but trying to keep track of all that in your head. I mean, we again, we don't really buy any of that stuff either because it's too much. Like, so yeah, like we'd like to. Yeah, just there's just no <laughs> monies. There's also, no like, monies for it. You, it, it's still very much in the. Did you know G one? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Do that's you uh, know G1? that's why it would be nice to have the toy fair because then we would have had more things to be like, ooh, this mm. could be excited for this potentially. Yeah. Uh, um, and like we said, that it's hard to be excited for the Japanese stuff because for the most part, we don't know what Japan will be coming out with for the most part. Mm, mm. But yeah, uh, definitely Kingdom. Uh, yeah, no, stuff. I think like Kingdoms, if Kingdom can keep going. Kingdom go keeps going the way it's going. I think it ain't it ain't too shabby. Mm, I would agree. Uh, so I guess we've done that. Oh, uh, one of the things uh, Christo- uh, Christopher uh, Christoph mentioned mm-hmm. is uh, the Monster Hunter Rise demo. Did you get it, Mikey? Yes, downloaded it, played it for a few minutes. Haven't gone back to it yet. Um, okay. I'm not sure if I'm doing the controls right. Okay, why? Because it seems very slow. Yeah, it's like, meant to be very, very deliberate. Slow. You're meant to be very deliberate when it you're has, attacking. It has that Dark Souls vibe. Oh, it's slower than Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah. um, which is you need I to find... make sure that when you attack, that you're safe. You need to watch uh, out for the patterns really hard. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Like there's very clear things. Like also, I'm not familiar with most of Control, so I've got mm. the demo. Like the demo has like four sections, and there's a training section. So I'm gonna, I'm basically gonna do that and see how I, I get it. It's definitely like uh, a I'm learning not... curve to get used to a Monster Hunter game because when I was playing World, I was like, ah, oh, okay. But then you Cause... you start getting into it. Yeah, or at and least I, I, I did. I, I would just say I'm not a deliberate player. I am a button masher at heart. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> Which is so weird because it... you play Devil May Cry games. Yeah, they're but not like button you can, bashes. You can button mash Devil May Cry. You, you just have to remember to switch up can. the combo. That's that's true, but you can't really do that if you want to use exceeds. Yeah, but like, whoever used exceeds? 
like the man there's some there's some people who play really well online yep, there, andy there are people who get paid to play really well and there are people who can go to space and there are people who are on fire I'm <laughs> i don't think the things. people who play really well were getting paid a lot to do it. they were just uh, doing it because i really like those games i am not i do not have the hand-eye coordination <laughs> we're too old for that now i was too old for that when i was 10 <laughs> i was always uh, bad at anything that required me to like have good reaction times Ah, fair, fair enough. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna send you the the rest of the stuff Christoph said because it is comic stuff. Uh, is, oh my and god! I'll, so I'll much. let you read it. Because <clears throat> this is comic related, and we know how much you like the current ongoing. So I don't. I barely remember it at this stage. Um, <laughs> right, a lot of talk about after the break, but I'm starting with the comic. Blah, 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 blah. Because even the plot got diarrhea last issue. Have after having constipation for most of its run. I didn't read the last issue, so that's a lovely descriptor. Uh, it's all ready, but a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, the issue I said like, is it good or is it not? Um, it's all set ready, but a lot of standing around and talking with spots and neat stuff happening. Like this is all. This is all that Cyclonus has done recently, but hey, at least the Quake plot is over as Bumblebee ripped his head off. Um, got ambushed, a good angry brain thing with killer apes. Okay, I remember <laughs> that. Because I'm, I'm skipping, spo- like, having seen the Quake thing, I'm skipping super super spoilery things that, well, don't bother me, but will probably bother someone reading this. Sure, Bumblebee's sure, Bumblebee's yeah. in trouble. Uh, Decepticons are shooting people in the street for not hailing Megatron. I don't think the law has time for that right now. So, <laughs> hmm. um... I don't know if that sounds like more has happened or it's just been like the, the, the issue for me is not necessarily like is the content is, is like more happening is the content better like I don't care if they're standing around talking for 20 issues as long as that talking is significant and interesting yeah because I like some people going like oh it's, where's my action where's my transforming genuinely could never need it as long as the story's good and like the dialogue's good and there's a good pace and everything else I'd and say that... with with action, it's always nice to have a good bit of balance between the action yeah. and the and oh, the story. But abs- I, I I get absolutely. what you're saying as well. Yeah, but because I absolutely. But um, listen, if I, it it's just like saying a, a comic, pacing is huge in a comic. It is mm. ridiculously huge, and pacing shot that book in the leg for uh, two years. Give yep. or take. <laughs> what was that? That was my dog. Oh no, oh, is it demanding entrance into your room again? Let me in, you bitch. <laughs> um, I hate you. Uh, she's a good girl. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so comics, I'm still not reading them. No, no, me neither. <laughs> me neither. Uh, right, uh, I think that's us all done, unless you have anything, Mr. Mikey. Nope, I'm good. All right, then where can people find you on the internet, Mikey Poo? If you want to contact me, there's Irish Paleo on Twitter, and of course, our various means of contacting us on the medias, like moonbase2 at gmail.com and Twitter and Facebook and Patreon and everywhere else. So give us, give us a nudge, guys. We always love to hear from you. Woo! Andy, what about you? You can find me on Twitter, CCTFW, YouTube as Cobra Commander TFW. You can find this podcast on the Moonbase 2 forums, on Twitter, iTunes, Facebook, Libsyn, YouTube as Moonbase 2 Transformers Podcast. Uh, you can also find us on the ccbunker.weebly.com or net. One of the two. I think it's .com. Uh, and you can uh, find me on Twitch as cctfw, where I do video games at 11 o'clock UK time till about uh, 1 o'clock-ish UK time, maybe half one-ish. Mm. And uh, you can also head over to patreon.com slash moonbase2. And get, if you do $2 each month, you get the extended version of From the Files of Teltran 2. You also get it a week early. Uh, and you get the Moonbase Woo Woo. And actually, that was something I did this week. I put up the extended version of uh, of From the Files on, on the on the Patreon. So that's up. Uh, and we talked about, uh, for the extra Patreon show, we talked about Transformers versus uh, Terminator. Or Terminator versus Transformers. Whichever one's first. Robots. That's the one. Uh, we did <laughs> issues two to four, since we'd already done one. So that's that one. We've scratched that sucker off the list. Uh, well, oh. <laughs> that's a lovely way of phrasing well that's done I don't have to care <laughs> Well, it, it's more like because we haven't really that's been on our list to do for a while and it's one that I kept I'm asking looking... you about and you're like we, we've done two issues yeah, I'm oh, like, no no we've bull, done one issue bullshit you kept asking me I kept, tell, I kept telling you, you that we've done issue like uh, one 
You've asked me about that twice in since the time we've done it. You lie. Look at him currying favor from the populace. All I'm going to say is Andy, fucking liar. What was I lying about? Liar. Was it? Do you mean specifically asking to do that? Because no, I, I I never specifically like we need to do Terminator. No, no, Andy lying. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Did you know um, doing a figure out of hit from Dragon Ball? What's that? They're doing a figure out of hit from Dragon Ball. Oh, uh, cool. I just saw that. I'm trying to change the subject. Oh, okay. There's <laughs> al- they've also got a uh, Ryuki as well. If you wanted a Ryuki from uh, Figure Yes, Rise. I saw that. But with drag with the dragon. Included. Yeah, which is weird, but okay. Build a dragon. I should have done Oja, the best one from that series. You'll never, ever, ever get your Oja in. I already have uh, uh, two Ojas. I've got the Figma one, uh, which, you know, uh, uh, and I've got the Figure Out one, which is the wrong color for some reason. (laughs) I don't know why they made him more pink. It doesn't make any sense. Because Oja don't give a shit. No, it's because for some reason uh, Figure Outs was being weird at the time. Don't know why. That was the time where, like, the first O's figure had a really big head. That's right. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sure they'll do another one of him in the future. Because it's, you know, what they do. Uh, anyway, thank you for joining me this week, Mr. Mikey. Thanks for pooping with me. I have liked using your facilities. Hooray! Uh, and until next week, everybody, have a good time. Have a good week or whatever you might be doing during the week. Uh, and me and Mikey mm. will catch you next time. Fight me! Fight me!